Indexing is a critical step in the book production process, but it's as onerous as it is critical. The existing indexing tools require hours of time, doing things that smart software should be doing. Introducing PubIndex. We automate the tedious tasks that have traditionally burdened indexing. In short, PubIndex makes indexing easy. PubIndex's powerful drag-and-drop feature virtually eliminates typing. PubIndex self-drives to every instance of a selected term and then returns the indexer to the starting point in the manuscript. Page references are created as two-way hyperlinks to the precise location in the manuscript, making reflowing a breeze. And the creation of C and C also relationships is a snap. With PubIndex, you can produce smart indexes directly in Microsoft Word. This user-friendly tool makes the indexing process highly efficient while enhancing quality. To get started, let's log in. After logging in to PubIndex, we simply choose the manuscript file to be indexed, enter the title and author information, and hit Save. Now we'll select the manuscript to be indexed from the current queue and click Start Indexing. It's important to note that when the manuscript is opened and PubIndex's functionality is activated, the contents of the document are locked to protect against mistaken edits or changes. PubIndex first allows us to select content blocks that are commonly excluded from indexing, such as front matter, references, and quotes. In this way, we can skip these extraneous sections of the text. Let's highlight the front matter in this manuscript. We'll call this Front Matter in the Index window, and click Add to treat this as an exclusion area. Indexing terms has never been easier. All we do is highlight the term and drag and drop it into the indexing pane on the right. The number of instances in the manuscript is automatically displayed, which helps us to decide whether or not to index the term. The first term we'll highlight is Zoning Designers. With only two instances, we decide this is a good term to index. After selecting the first index, PubIndex drives us to the second and allows us to choose whether or not we want to select it. PubIndex drives the indexer to all instances of a selected term throughout the manuscript. And when finished with that term, it then returns us to the starting point to select the next term. Because indexing is performed right in the manuscript, PubIndex provides our page references as two-way hyperlinks. We just got valuable time back. If an author or publisher modifies the manuscript later, the page references will be automatically updated. Now, how about another term, positive externalities? As there are only four instances, we decide this is a good term to index. We like instances 1, 2, and 3. However, this fourth instance looks like the term is used in a different manner, so we choose No to skip it. PubIndex automatically alphabetizes terms as they're created so that positive externalities and zoning designers are in the proper order. This makes it much easier for us. We don't need to worry about creating near-duplicate terms. Moving on, let's say we choose a term like Policy. We can see immediately that there are too many instances for this to be a viable term. Therefore, we simply select No. We do not want to index this term. Here's a really helpful feature. As we index, notice that PubIndex highlights all instances of previously indexed terms. As we move further into the manuscript, the number of new terms that need to be indexed goes down, accelerating our work. For example, page 18 of the manuscript may look like this after indexing the page. And by the time we're two-thirds of the way through, it looks like this. See that the previously indexed terms are highlighted, so we can focus our attention on the terms that have yet to be indexed. Indexing concepts is also very easy. We enter the concept in the PubIndex panel, Zoning Regulation Devices and then select the relevant block of text. And voila, a new concept is created. When we read that idea again, all we will do is highlight it and apply it to this same concept.
Now, once all of the desired terms have been created, we can dynamically create sub-entries and quickly and easily create cross-references, all without breaking the hyperlinks. We can also manually edit the terms to the desired format by inverting an author name or phrase. Here, we'll make this Designers, comma, Zoning. And we can apply bold or italics. Once we're ready, we can create our index. For formatting, we can choose to show indented subentries or run in subentries. We can also choose to delineate the index with alpha headings. Please note that the two way hyperlinks are preserved after index generation. We click on 19. And you can see Pub Index has taken us back to the exact point in the manuscript. Clicking on the manuscript returns you to the index. Now we invite you to sign up for Pub Index's free trial and discover this amazing new tool. It makes indexing smarter, faster, and easier.